Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings five minute review. Cheers. Now, I have a firm policy which has done me well so far. And that policy is I won't review books I don't like. Simple reason for this, I'd better just explain it yet again, but I know damn well that there are times when I pick up a book and I try to read it and I don't like it. There are other times when I pick up that same book and I really enjoy it. It depends on your mood, it depends on your frame of mind. It's exactly the same when I advise aspiring authors not to be upset by one or two rejection letters because you don't know if your editor woke up, had a steaming row with a husband or boyfriend, fell downstairs because she tripped over the cat and spilt coffee all over her skirt when she went to the nearest Starbucks. These things happen. People are human and things go horribly wrong. And that does colour your judgment when you're reading a book. Your attitude and frame of mind are very important when you're reading. So I don't review books I don't like because on the basis I've never enjoyed a James Patterson book, I've never enjoyed a Patricia Cornwell book, I've never enjoyed quite a few books that are enormously popular. Therefore, my judgment does not matter when it comes to books of some types. But I have had a rash recently of books sent through to me to be reviewed, and not one of them has worked for me. So today, I'm not going to talk about a book that's come up recently. I'm going to talk about an author I've admired for a very, very long time, who is the fabulous Ed McBain. These are not the only books of his I've got. I've got several of them. These are the books I've read in the last week, four of them. How can I read four books in a week? Well, I promised myself some time ago that I would try to make sure that I read at least 50 pages of a book per day. Doesn't take that long, really, 50 pages, but I keep failing. However, these little books are only 150 pages long. They're really good. The characterization is fantastic. The plotting is excellent. And I'm just going to talk about this one because this is the one I finished most recently. The Doll. Five minutes on The Doll. Right. Ed McBain has created this wonderful group of characters in the 87th Precinct. It is not a place that exists. He doesn't set them in New York directly, he says. He was born in Manhattan but fled to the Bronx at the age of 12 sums up his attitude but he attended Hunter College after a variety of jobs he worked for a local literary agent where he learned about plotting stories when his agent boss started selling them regularly to magazines and he sold a mystery novel and a juvenile science fiction title as well they both decided it would be more profitable for him to stay at home and write full time now he's written a lot of books this one was in fact dated in 1966 each of the books is about the same town. Each of them starts off saying, the city in these pages is imaginary. The people, the places are all fictitious. Only the police routine is based on established investigatory techniques. Probably most of the techniques listed in these books would be completely illegal nowadays, but that doesn't matter, does it? The fact is, these books are very tightly plotted. You get a lot of characters you get a lot of plot within the 150 160 pages and they are quite gritty but the thing I love is they're just superbly well written and ever so often through them you'll find pictures to illustrate points that he's making this book is about the murder of a successful model in Vogue magazine and other magazines so it's got her um, what do you call it her vital statistics and her composite it's got other things like it, the books will often have a picture of an application form for an insurance policy or the picture of an application form for a driving license all that kind of thing that is relevant and necessary that adds something to the plot they're not straightforward old-fashioned crime books in that they follow 
the plot of the story quite directly, they don't necessarily introduce you to the murderer on page five or six. There, there always used to be a convention with crime books that you had to have the murder before page 60. You had to introduce the actual criminal in the first few pages and there could only be five or six suspects. Lots of reasons for why those were all popular concepts. This one, for example, Lady Killer. I'll just read the very first lines because it is a superb introduction, I think. A crank is a person who calls Frederick 78024 and says, I don't want to have to tell you about that Chinese laundry downstairs again. The owner uses a steam iron and the hissing keeps me awake. Now, will you please arrest him? A crank is a person who addresses a letter to the 87th precinct and writes, I'm surrounded by assassins. I need police protection. The Russians know I've invented a supersonic tank. Every police precinct in the world gets his fair share of crank calls and letters every day of the week. The letters and calls range from the sincere to the idiotic to the sublime. There are people who have information about suspected communists, kidnappers, murderers, abortionists, forgers and high-class whorehouses. There are people who complain about television comedians, mice landlords, loud phonographs, strange ticking sounds in the walls and automobile horns that play I'll be down to get you in a taxi, honey. There are people who claim to have been exhorted, extorted, duped, threatened, libeled, slandered, beaten, maimed and even murdered. The classic call of the 87th was from a woman who claimed to have been shot dead four days ago and why hadn't the police found her murderer? yet. That's the sort of style of writing. Really fast, very tight. Um, he's as taut as a journalist. Can I just apologise? The cracking noise is that blasted stupid dog chewing her nails. Saves me having to cut him. So my pick of the week for you, dear viewer, is if you haven't got any yet, go to your local bookshop and get some Ed McBain's. It really doesn't matter which book you buy, they're all equally good. I think he wrote about 40 or 50, it might even have been more than that in his time. Very good books. If you find this one, I can thoroughly recommend it. It is a brilliant book. If you find Killer's Choice, that's a really good one. If you find Lady Killer, they're all really good. So, having said that, I'm going to start another Egg McBain today, and I will hope that a book for review will appear shortly that I enjoy. Wish me luck. Take care. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked that, go to the Patreon page down the bottom. There's a link, and then you can get additional information about me and help support the site by funding the purchase of more books. You can also add a comment down the bottom and you can hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I'm contacting you. And apart from that, I've got to go back. I've got to finish this edit today. Hopefully I'm going to succeed. Cheers and see you soon. Bye bye.